We're here at Hospital de Gamboa in Rio de Janeiro and we're going to go meet some doctors who volunteer their time to work with lower income Brazilians who want to get plastic surgery. So there's a... So she's performing a mastopexy with breast implants. They're going to put in the implant now. How many times do we do it? 15 maybe. 15 yeah. breast, breast augmentations every week. Yeah. That's a lot. Antonio Paulo is a resident at Hospital da Gamboa, and he also happens to be the grandson of Ivo Pitangui, Brazil's most famous plastic surgeon. Since the 60s, Pitangui trained surgeons under the idea that, rich or poor, everyone has the right to be beautiful. It was something mainly for the elites. He democratized plastic surgery in a way that everybody had access because it was something that people with low income wouldn't even dream about it. Everywhere if you go, like every small town, they have good plastic surgeons. Is plastic surgery normalized in the Brazilian culture? Totally normalized. And it's, it's getting more and more because the patients are getting more and more informed because of the internet. So it's very common, for example, that someone comes in and say, look, I want to do a breast implant this size with this form. She knows everything. They're getting very informed, you know. Plastic surgery clinics like this one offer reduced rates for surgeries in order to accommodate working class patients. Minimum wage earners in Brazil make just $228 a month. So even at a reduced cost, some people are still spending several months' salary, all in the name of looking good. TV. Dois filhos, né? A mama caiu, ficou muito frácida, e eu resolvi fazer para levantar minha autoestima. We met Simone, who recently had a breast implant and augmentation. She's a domestic worker and qualified for the clinic's discounted rates. She and her husband saved money over the course of five months to afford her surgery and ended up spending half of the average cost in Brazil. Foi, foi com desconto já, tudo normal. Saiu 8.300. Nós temos é, várias classes de pessoas, mas a enorme maioria são as pessoas mais pobres, mais, menos favorecidas, que financeiramente têm menos acesso à clínica privada. O que me incomoda é a pálpebra, essa parte aqui, essa bolsa, isso. Okay. Meu nome é Iris Pache, eu sou professora e tenho 71 anos. E você está aqui por quê? Eu estou insatisfeita assim, com a minha face, né? Acho que tem um pouco de flacidez. Você tem que fazer uma plástica de face. Você tem um olho bonito, vai ficar bacana. Você vai ficar bem, né? Deve ficar linda. É, Os cirurgiões plásticos mudaram porque eu acredito que é, um pouco do espírito ficou pelo caminho. Muitos cirurgiões, muitos médicos, se formaram em cirurgia plástica com o objetivo de status, a fama. Mas esse não é o espírito da cirurgia plástica, não é o espírito correto. Eu considero uma parte da medicina que é o tratamento do corpo e da alma. Why is it important to have the right to beauty? Mainly in Rio, people want to look well because there's a lot of exposition of the body, you know, there's a lot of beach culture. Tem um preconceito muito grande. A cultura brasileira realmente ainda vê a mulher muito assim como um objeto. É verdade. Eu sempre, desde bem jovem, eu já sabia das cirurgias práticas. Eu sempre tive muita preocupação do envelhecer. E aí eu procurei sempre colocar na minha cabeça que eu tinha que fazer uma reserva para o dia que eu envelhecesse. For me, when I look at it, I'll see someone who has, you know, a difficult time paying a good school for their kids and then they choose to go do a facelift or yeah. make their breasts bigger. And yeah. and it's hard for me to understand that choice. It's hard for you to imagine that because you're really beautiful, you know? So you, it's if you if you had something that really bothered you, you would understand, I think. Do you think plastic surgery is a luxury? Well, I think that being well with yourself and feeling good about it, I think that's the real luxury. There's a lot of prejudice involved. It's part of our culture. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? I think it's a reality, you know. They don't 
oportunidade né, para muitas pessoas que não têm condições. Pô, minha vida já ficou melhor desde o dia que eu fiz a minha cirurgia. Eu me sinto outra mulher. Então eu dou aula em várias escolas, aí dá para guardar um pouquinho e realizar o meu sonho, né? Que é, eu, me, eu mereço, de tanto que eu trabalho. Mas vai valer a pena? Tomara que valha a pena.